punishes mistakes, it's high commitment. As cars do go off here and there's not a lot of room for error. So this is Paddock Hill Bend, and this is one of the coolest places in all of international motorsport, somewhere I've been looking forward to coming to for a long time. Essentially here at Brands Hatch, the cars start up on the front stretch there, the green flag goes, and they come flying down this hill. There's a massive elevation change, and then they go right back uphill again. It's an incredible place. A lot of the photographers have told me that it's an unbelievable place to, to stand on the outside to see the cars coming through here. And it can be pretty sketchy as well. Cars go into that gravel pit over there, but I'm really excited for this weekend here at Brands Hatch. Like this is such a cool racetrack. I've played it in the sim. I've seen races here my whole life, you know, on TV. So to finally get to come here and check it out, it's really cool. And getting to do a track walk is amazing. I love doing the track walk or going for a run on the track at the different circuits I go to. Not only do you get to have a cool map on your Strava, but also just to see what these circuits are really like for the drivers and get them, you know, a nice up close and personal view. And it gives you a whole new appreciation for the elevation changes and the track surface and everything else. So I love coming out here on track walks. Back in the pit lane now. Actually went for a lap of the entire track. So walk the track, which is great. Uh, Jono, one of the McLaren engineers, uh, if you remember him from the Abu Dhabi vlog, he wanted to go running on track with me, but he got held up working. Honestly, after walking it, kind of glad, kind of glad that I didn't run it because that doesn't seem like a very fun track to run. So lots of elevation. But uh, now back down the pit lane, they're gonna do pit stop practice here in a minute, which is great. So had I not walked the track, I would have missed this. I would have gone left already. So thankfully we'll get pit stop practice. Drivers will do driver change practice, which I can cheat some uh, portrait -y stuff with the drivers, which is awesome, uh, which is less to do tomorrow. And tomorrow's gonna be tough because there's only two one hour practices and then qualifying. So it's gonna be tough to get everything we need, but if I can get some of this now, it's perfect. So just finished up for the day, just got back to the car park and uh, it's time to head back and have some dinner. It ended up being a pretty late night, it's 10 after eight. So hopefully I can go and uh, grab some food on the way back, I'm starving and uh, get to bed. And we gotta be here bright and early tomorrow to get our tabards and everything for trackside shooting. But uh, that's a setup day here at uh, Brands Hatch. Nothing too crazy. The fun starts tomorrow and we'll see you then. Welcome to Brands Hatch for Saturday of GT World Challenge. Today we have two one hour practice sessions and then two 10 minute qualifying sessions. So not a lot of track time, total of two hours and 20 minutes. So green flag is gonna come out soon and cars will be coming down the hill here. Uh, well, up the hill here, I guess, right here at kind of, I believe this is like turn three area, turn two, turn three. I don't know the turn numbers here yet at Brands Hatch. Uh, Feeling a little under the weather today. Feeling a little, uh, little sore throaty. I'm traveling a lot, so those things can happen. So just taking my vitamin C and uh, just gotta push through it. So we'll get the session started and I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. We've had a red flag period for about the last five minutes. We're about halfway through this one hour session. Uh, normally I would use a red flag period as a time to move to another corner. Uh, you know, it's a good time to move. There's no cars on track. You're not missing anything by moving, but I really need to get a few more shots here at Paddock Hill Bend. 
I want to get this going away shot down the curbs, so I need to get that. Uh, and then once I get that, I'll move. I'll go under the tunnel uh, over yonder that way and see if I can get some stuff from driver's left so I have some variety in this first batch of uh, shots I send out. So, uh, yeah, looks like the course clearance vehicle's out there, so we should hopefully get going again here shortly. session actually went pretty well despite the two red flags was able to get everything I needed got some editing done now sent some clips now it's pretty much just time for uh, FP2 which I'm gonna do down here in the pit lane so I have to do a fire suit and uh, have my helmet with me it's hanging over here but, uh, new for this year at the sprint rounds uh, we have to wear fire suits so in the past at sprint races and GT4 and stuff you're able to just be out here with just a helmet because there's no fueling going on right there's no fuel rigs or anything but uh, New rules, we all have to be uh, in fire suits. So here we are, in my fireproof suit. Luckily the weather's uh, pretty good, it's like 15 degrees Celsius, so we're not getting uh, too steamy in our fire suits, which is nice. Not like uh, Malaysia last year, or Japan. So, looking forward to practice two. For this practice, I have the Ronin RS2 gimbal, and I am shooting uh, vertical. I am set up vertically with the Sigma 24-70, Sony A7S III, delivering pretty much all vertical this weekend, so shooting vertical when I can. Hurts my soul, I've said that multiple times, but uh, vertical content sometimes requires vertical shooting. So here we are, with the gimbal mounted vertically. So free practice done, had lunch, did some editing, and now it's time for qualifying. And you'll notice that I'm not in the pit lane. Usually for qualifying, I'm in the pit lane, but I'm actually just out here on the circuit. Uh, and I actually just crossed the circuit, which was really weird. The marshals let me cross between sessions. But I'm just gonna shoot this going away shot of this curb over here, uh, which I've been told, Michaeli told me it's amazing. So I'll also probably get this nice uh, shot as they come up. Although, do you have to be careful here, you can see there are some skid marks down there. Um, cars do go off here and there's not a lot of room for error. There's not really anywhere to go. So you gotta have a plan for, hey, if something's gonna come, I'm probably, my plan is just gonna be to dive. Um, just drop the camera and dive uh, because that's gonna be my best bet uh, if a car does come right at me. We do have to be careful when we're trackside, always have an exit strategy. That's why only certain people are allowed trackside. So everyone that's in my DM is saying, how, how do I get a media pass when they, they've never shot a race before? It's like they don't just let anybody go trackside. So yeah, we'll get this shot done here. Uh, I've got two 10 minute qualifying sessions and we'll head back at the editing down and we got a little bit of things to shoot after that just in the paddock and then uh, hopefully get out of here at a reasonable hour and get some rest. Because I said I was feeling a little under the weather before and I'm starting to feel a little bit worse. So I'm definitely, definitely ill, uh, but the show must go on, so. Yeah, 
I've really been enjoying this racetrack. This is such a cool place. Uh, oh, there's a magpie down there. Is it a magpie? I don't know. It's crazy how fast bird watching keeps, creeps up on you as you age. Um, but yeah, it's it's baller. It's a historic track. It has some you know modern safety features added to it, but it's still just like, just so cool. Like, I don't know how to describe it. It's just so historic and classic and it punishes mistakes. It's high commitment. It's got grass on the sides. Like, and if you don't want to crash, you know, don't, don't touch the grass, stay on the, the pavement, you know, and there are big shunts here, but you know, it's, it's a really rewarding racetrack, you know, to win at. And, and I really love it. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite circuits that I've been to. So definitely worth the walk all the way out here during qualifying and crossing the track and everything. Uh, we'll wait for the next session to start in about six minutes. There's another 10 minute qualifying. They qualify for both races, 10 minutes each, and then both races are tomorrow. So we'll get this qualifying done and then I'll uh, check in with you guys after. Back in the rental car, back in the very muddy parking lot and getting ready to head out for the day. Qualifying was good, got a lot of stuff that I'm happy with, worked really well. It was so mint, that spot, it was unreal. So really happy with how it went and got some awesome stuff. Like Brands Hatch is an amazing circuit. I'm really enjoying shooting here and I'm really looking forward to back-to-back -back races tomorrow, but in the morning we have an autograph session, which is like crazy. So we'll see how that goes. Obviously, Valentino Rossi being around makes everything even more crazy. So we'll get back, go get some dinner, then get back to the hotel and uh, get some sleep. And then we'll be right back at it first thing tomorrow morning. See you then. Good morning. It is Sunday here at France Hatch. It's early morning, just about 9 o'clock. And uh, in a moment, they are going to let all the fans queued at the end of the pit lane there start running down to get in line to get autographs here on the pit walk. And everybody wants Valentino Rossi's autograph. So... There is a massive queue of fans down there. They're all waiting. In a second, they'll cut that rope and let them, you'll see people sprinting down here to get in line to get autographs. I was gonna say, I don't know how long our line's gonna hold here, guys, but like... <laughs> well, how long, yeah, I'm gonna bail. So it's pretty crazy just the sheer number of people. Although it is very organized, people are generally quite respectful. Uh, so we haven't reached like Le Mans parade levels of craziness, but uh, it's definitely uh, a lot of people, a lot of passionate fans that are down here. Of course, Valentino Rossi is the most popular. His line is massive compared to everybody else. Kind of feel bad for some of his teammates who are sitting there and not too many people are interested in their autograph. But uh, no, it's really cool to see how passionate everyone is about motorsport and, and, and you know, loving these drivers and wanting to come down and meet them and get autographs. And the fact that this is included in a regular ticket price here at Brands Hatch, so you can just come down and do the pit walk. Anyone can come down that has a general admission ticket and come and enjoy this. And that's what I love about sports car racing, about keeping it accessible for people, keeping it affordable and you know letting people create amazing memories without having to spend thousands and thousands of dollars. So it's awesome to be out here at Brands Hatch and uh, look forward to another great day. We have two one hour races coming up and uh, it's gonna get pretty crazy, pretty quick. So. All right, down on the grid for race one. They're pushing all the cars into place. All the VIPs are out here hanging out. Got about 10, 12 minutes here before we all have to clear the grid and head down to turn one to shoot the start. So we get a few shots here and then it's off to turn one. minutes into the race I'm only gonna shoot trackside for maybe another five or six minutes and then head back for those pit stops but I found this nice gap here between the barriers I'm just trying to frame a shot in between here and uh, see if that works Yo, 
know, I thought the endurance championship was difficult with the two pit stops and the three hour window. Can't go far from the pits. In this one, the one hour race, you really can't go far from the pits. So I'm gonna head back now, get there early, make sure I get these pit stops. I don't wanna show up late and miss it. So uh, get there, we'll get set up. Pit stop in the media center to swap gear. Going vertical with the A7S3 and the 24 to 70 for this uh, celebration stuff at the end here. Looks like we're gonna come away with this one, the MWP1 right now, so we'll see how it goes. one done editing from race one done we had lunch thanks to uh luna from wrt who brought me a box lunch very nice of her so i didn't have to run down to hospitality and now we're gonna head to the pits to get uh the drivers getting in the cars hopefully and then we'll go to the grid to the grid for race two it's now cloudy and not great out 50 shades of gray as we call it um yeah so that's not great in fact there's actually a threat of rain and it's cold so i had to throw my jacket on but yeah, it's gonna be a good race too, trust me. Uh, looking forward to it. I'm not wearing my fire suit this time because I'm going to, I'm not gonna shoot pit stops in the pit lane. I'm just gonna stay out on track until near the end of the race. So uh, I have a good pit stop from the first race. So I should be good with that for my edits. So I don't really need uh, much else. So formation lap ongoing. We shoot the start from right down here. I can't think of a better place to shoot the start from. I'm gonna do it nice and wide at 70 millimeter. It's gonna be awesome. Really looking forward to this race. It is cloudy, so not great, but hey, what an amazing racetrack. It's been a fun weekend, so let's end it off right with this final race. here at Brands Hatch, the more I realize how great this track is for spectator photography and videography. Like you could just buy a ticket and come here and get amazing stuff because you can still get super close to the cars in many parts of the track. And other than maybe a few catch fences in front of you, you can get a lot of amazing shots just with a general admission ticket. And that's why I love old school circuits like this because they allow you to get close. They allow you to you know, enjoy photography as a fan. And events like Sports Car Racing, GT World Challenge, it's awesome because you can just buy a ticket, bring your camera, and practice your photography. I started as a fan, taking my camera to events. And now here I am, so you never know. Like we always say, you don't need a media pass. Just buy a ticket and start taking photos. Build your portfolio.
tell the people about yourself? Hi, I'm Reese. Uh, at Reese Sneakers Photo. Uh, I'm walking with Lord back to the, the paddock. <laughs> Race almost over, so it's an hour. They go by so fast, man. It's like you have time to shoot a little bit out and if you have to do pit stops you have to run back like i did that for the last race and i was like nah no pit stop second race i want to go in the woods for a bit so like what makes this track so good nobody has close to cars though how risky it is if they go off probably also just you don't really get much different racing like this in the uk really like, especially for an international event. It's just bonkers. It's just bonkers. Hello, Mark. Hello, Sam. <laughs> All right, so didn't do an update after the podium and then didn't shoot a uh, time lapse of me editing, which is my classic transition. So, um, yeah, but anyway. Uh, here we are, finished up at Brands Hatch on the way back to the car. It was an amazing weekend. Didn't have enough time at this circuit. That's my one big takeaway. It's great to have a two-day weekend. Well, I mean, I was here for setup day, but really it's a two-day weekend of cars on track, which is great. You get in and out, but I really wish I had more time to shoot the cars here because it's such an amazing circuit, and I didn't really get to see enough of it, you know? It would be great to come back here and shoot another event. I've had uh, the other photographers telling me that if I like this one, I'll really like uh, Olden Park as well here in the UK. So I'd love to get back here to the UK and, you know, shoot some more of their circuits because they just seem like classic, like untouched historic circuits, which is which are the kind of circuits that I love. But we did end up with one car on the podium today. So got that, got a little piece finished for BMW to celebrate that podium. They put it in their Instagram story. And then got another little piece done for another client, sent that off. And then honestly, all said and done, I did here pretty early, pretty quickly after the race, about two hours after the race ended, I was done, so not bad. We're gonna head back and flight tomorrow morning uh, home. Long day of travel tomorrow to go to Amsterdam and then switch planes to fly to uh, Toronto from there. But all in all, it was a really fun weekend. Uh, the marshals here at the circuit were amazing, super helpful, super kind. Uh, all the other photographers I met, I met lots of people as well that follow me on Instagram and watch the vlogs, which is really cool. It's been really amazing that even with the smaller following as I do have, I've run into someone everywhere I've been that follows me, which is incredible. Whether it's Spain, Portugal, Dubai, Australia, no matter where I've been, I've had someone come to me and say that, you know, they follow me on Instagram, which is amazing. It means a lot to me when people do that. So I really appreciate everybody's support. Uh, if you are new here and you made it all the way to the end of the video, please hit that subscribe button. It is free. It doesn't cost you a thing and it helps me a lot. You can also hit like, leave a comment for things you want to see in future videos. Uh, I tend to do other types of content in between the vlogs. If you want to get one of these awesome lockdown brand hats that's covered up by my sunglasses, there we go. There's a discount code down in the description. Use my code MARK10, you get 10% off and I get a small commission. And all the music you heard in this video is from audio.com. There's also a link and a discount code in the description below. All the details are down there. So if you want music for your videos, audio.com. Well, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.